but what I do have is a lot of knowledge about the animals out here in the backcountry. I've spent nearly 24 hours examining every single one, from the deer to the bottlenose dolphin. <laughs> Some of these are a little more elusive, so I would like to go over. The, I would like to go over them with you today. This first one, ah, I hope none of you have the misfortune of stepping on one of these. Their venom can be quite poison. But if you ask them nicely, give them a Tooth of Time Trader's gift card, that might squirt a little bit in your eye. It'll cure your astigmatism. This guy here, Lawrence, he's a wonderful little creature. He has hopes and dreams. One day he would like to be in a mariachi band. <laughs> he put on one of those outfits, get one of them big old guitars, start playing around the bushes, he might come out and roll. <laughs> now this next animal is incredibly beautiful. The bear. Now how many of you know about their fur? That's right. Cuddle up with them at night, they'll save you during a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> they absolutely love it when you sing them lullabies. This little guy, Lawrence, has a very wild and interesting diet. He mostly eats mice, pineapple, up, pineapple, uh, pine <laughs> woo boy, pineapple upside down cake, and Taco Bell chalupa. <laughs> Speaking of Mexican, this little baby is the new Mexican speed goat. Fastest animal on the planet. It can reach speeds of up to 88 miles per hour. So fast, it breaks a hole through the fabric of space and time. <laughs> Some of our wranglers ride them back in history and pick up a few of the historical features, the historical figures you see in our back country. Now, this next animal is a beautiful one. The jackalope. Now these are the king and queens of the animal kingdom. A lot of different people think a lot of different things about them, but I'm here to give you the facts. First of all, these are intimidating animals. They're so scary that they have to just go up to their enemies and they go home and rethink their lives. <laughs> Second of all, their antlers aren't used for protection. They're for they're spur. <laughs> That is a good question there for television reception. <laughs> they absolutely love HBO and Game of Thrones. <laughs> now this next animal, speaking of, <laughs> the New Mexican is, is the land zebra. Now the land zebra is much like its African counterpart. Very elusive and very hard to find. Their diet consists of a lot of different things, but it's mostly mice, sticks and twigs, and the tears of the lost scouts in the back country. <laughs> now these guys are incredible animals. We're trying to get them to do lost and found for us for lost scouts and missing items, cameras and stuff like that for a very long time. But unfortunately, they were nearly hunted out of existence in the 1980s. Now these next are the most beautiful ones of all, the dragons. I told you there was a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> now what do you know about dragons? They spit fire, they're incredibly beautiful, and they have gorgeous singing voices. <laughs> a couple of our dragons actually recorded a mixtape that you can find at the Tooth of Trey and Tom Trey. I heard it was pretty fly. <laughs> now these hey, hey, these dragons are incredibly interesting creatures. They absolutely love gold. It was a little bit of a problem during the 1930s when we had to compete with them for panning locations. Luckily, both sides signed the Baldy Peace Accord of 1932, and everything settled down. <laughs> By now, you guys, we've had a fun little time. We've got to know each other. I have something a little bit special for you. Back there is a nest of the most ferocious and dangerous creature we have on this ranch. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm talking about the mini bear. Now this nest incredibly, incredibly interesting thing. It's 
built mostly of highways and underwater, <laughs> underground water slides. <laughs> Even a little bit bigger than the Bill of Law. Now, I'm going to go over to it and try to talk to the mother in her native language. You need to realize this is an incredibly difficult thing to do. They have many different dialects, and I'm not entirely sure of which one this one speaks. So, I may anger her. Now, they like to be left alone, and they're very solitude kind of animals. Now, who wants to go poke their baby? <laughs> relationship has their problems. <laughs> but it seems little Lawrence and I are going to be all right. Now, there's a lot of different animals in this back country. I'll try to explain them all to you tonight. So the next time you come to Philmont, your kids come to Philmont, or your kids' kids come to Philmont, just remember, if you see a snake out in the back,